Hello everyone and welcome to Ubuntu Lost Videos. In this video I will be showing you a little bit of introduction to the applications that you will come across within Ubuntu. Uh, in the past video I showed you the desktop and how to use the desktop. In this video let's go ahead and hit in and show you the applications. So let's go ahead and start simply clicking on the applications text up here will show you a list of categories that applications are stored in. Anytime you download and install new applications they will be put in different categories or the same ones depending on what they pertain to. For instance, in accessories we have a calculator, CD-DVD creator, uh, text editor, and so on. In graphics we have things that pertain to graphics such as photo managers, drawing, and scanning documents. Internet, simple stuff like chatting with friends, browsing the internet, downloading files. Office, uh, basically stuff to work with in school or work. And sound and video, anything that pertains to multimedia. So let's go ahead and begin and give me a little introduction to the applications that you'll be using most. Calculator is simple enough to know or use. It can be very easy to very, uh, I guess, complicated or advanced, whichever one you want to use. It can be very useful for you and for quick little calculations here and there. Uh, CD DVD creator, simply put, you drag and drop files into this window and you write to disk. These will be burned as data. Music files in here will not be able to be played on anything else other than a computer. If you want to make music CDs for MP3 or for uh, your car or for anything else to play music from that CD, use the Brazero Disk Image Burner. Next piece here we have is a disk usage analyzer. Simply put, it can scan your home folder or your whole computer or any uh, folder you wish or of course a network as well or a remote folder to kind of give you an idea of how much space you have, how much is being used and by what folders uh, is being used. You can simply click on the area you want to look at once it's done scanning of course. Okay, once it's done scanning, simply click, you can browse around, right click, move to, fo uh, move to trash, or open in a different folder, and you can kind of uh, organize and delete files that you uh, see that are unnecessary. Uh, next we have manage print jobs. Simple enough, uh, anytime you're printing something, it'll be put in this little queue, you can edit, uh, you can cancel, delete, hold, and so on uh, for those jobs. Password encryption key, and here is where you can change a lot of passwords and which passwords are stored securely. If you have problems with your key uh, wallet or <coughs> key ring in GNOME uh, when it keeps asking for a password, that means most likely that you changed your user password and now it's going to keep asking you over and over again until you change this password here to the same password as your user password. Uh, it's a bit of a annoyance, but yes, you have to do this just in case because uh, it's basically extra security just in case something happens. Searching for files is simple. Simply click on the search for files, and in here you can simply search for files. Uh, there's nothing complicated about that. Uh, just put the word that you want to find in documents names. Of course, you can do more options. You can have contains the text inside of the, for the file. You can add that and then put the, f the text that it contains. and no files are found that are text files that have the words documents in them. Now you can do a lot of other things as well. All of these uh, different options here are available. Next we have a taking screenshot. Simply put an application that takes a screenshot on your computer. You can do the whole screen desktop, the current window, or you can actually manually select where you want a screenshot. This can be used, uh, it'll be saved on your desktop as a PNG and you can share it with friends or family or if you're having trouble with something you can show exactly what you're having trouble with. Under graphics we have a few things such as the photo manager to easily use this or import. Uh, this basically manages your photos as so, but to add more photos simply click on import, select a folder or select a device that's connected to your computer such as a digital camera, phone, mp3 players, iPhone, etc. or USB and once you select it press OK open and it'll scan the whole device or folder for the files and once it's done you can simply click import and they'll be added to your library and you can do other things such as tag them by different features you can edit things you can edit uh, des desaturate, sepia tones, auto color and so on you can do a little drawing here, or uh, you can create different flowcharts or logos with this. It's a simple application. Uh, it's part of the open office suit. I won't be going over it because it will take too much time. Uh, the simple scan is a simple application. Once again, very simple for a simple task of scanning documents. In the past, you've probably had many applications that uh, are very complicated when it comes to scanning uh, you know, documents from a scanner. This is simple, 
simply plug in the scanner, put the paper in, and then press the scan button, and bam, it's scanning. That's all you have to do. For the internet, we have this Empathy IM client to manage your chat accounts. When you run it for the first time, a little window will pop up uh, basically telling you to uh, enter your account details for the instant messengers you want to work with. For instance, for Facebook, and we have other ones available as well, but for Facebook, simply put in your URL. If you don't have this, you can go ahead and use this page to choose your Facebook your username. Put it in here and put the password. And if you have more accounts, click on yes and go forward. If you're done, then go ahead and click uh, that's it for now and press apply. And then this will be populated with your account details. Firefox is the default browser. There's nothing big or special with this. Uh, simply go. You can surf the web as long as you're connected to it, and so on. Transmission BitTorrent Client is a way to download torrents online. <clears throat> Simply run this, or when you download the torrent, it'll automatically open with this application. Uh, you can search torrents online through Google, and so on. Anything from music to movies to files, documents, and so on. It's an easy way to share documents with people around you. Uh, basically, organize yourself as well, because it shows you everything you've downloaded here. Different things include the Gribber Social Client, which is basically for managing Twitter and so. Remote Desktop Viewer, uh, if you're having trouble, you can configure this to uh, get someone's help uh, through a different computer. And a Terminal Server Client. Under Office, we have a Dictionary, a Mail and Email, uh, Email and Calendar, my bad. And here you can simply set it up by going forward and putting all the account details and the information provided. Then we have a PowerPoint presentation-like program, Excel uh, spreadsheet-like program, and a word processor. And all of these are compatible with Microsoft Word. So if you depended on those programs on Microsoft Word, these do work with Microsoft Word. So you don't have to worry about compatibility there. Sound and video, if you want to burn something. Uh, you can do an audio project, data project, video project, uh, you can copy a disk if you have two CD or DVD drives, or you can burn an image like, a, like the Ubuntu ISO. Simply put, uh, if all of these windows look the same, if you want to make an audio, simply click on audio, drag and drop the files on here, and press burn, and it'll burn it to the CD. Movie Player is a simple program to play movies. Uh, anytime you open a movie, it'll automatically open. Of course, you can do other things such as browse YouTube as well. You can go to BBC, uh, watch their videos, or check the properties on the video, or make a playlist of your own. Next, we have the video editor. Simply put, uh, it's a video editing program. Simply drag up and drop your um, videos in here. Then from here, after they're imported, simply click here to here and it'll add it to the timeline and here you can actually edit and crop and do all these things to the video. And you can finally render the project with a certain file type. Music Player is a iTunes-like music player. Uh, it doesn't look completely like it, nor does it work like it, but the layout is similar. For instance, playlists are down here, uh, you have a, the music store right here, and so on and so forth. Uh, this manages all your music on your computer. Simply go to music, import file or folder, and just point to where music is and it'll import all of that for you. And that, last but not least, is a sound recorder. Uh, basically run this, simply click on the record sound, and if you have a microphone on your computer, it'll record the sound in an OGG type, and you can change the type of file as well. And now how to get applications. To get applications, go to the Ubuntu Software Center, located at the very bottom, and in here you can simply search for the application you want to use, or error description. So let's say we want to do 3D design. Here we go, the first is Blender, which comes out, the second is a 3D game, but Blender is an application to work with 3D graphics. And there you go, simply click the install button and it'll tell you if it's free right next to it. Click on that and it'll install it in a matter of minutes. And this can go for a lot of different applications and we have, uh, we have 32,716 applications available. So here's the word, have fun. And that's basically it. Thank you for watching Ubuntu Laws videos. I hope you found this interesting and informative. Uh, I'll be making more videos in the future. Next will be places. Thank you for watching and bye.